Hello internet, but most likely just Simmer, and welcome back to another episode of Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Today's topic is in-class performances. So this week we read two plays, we read Reading Hebron and Facts, um, and we did in class like three to five minute scenes. Um, I, Shanti and I did Facts, and then Ed and Blair did Reading Hebron. Reading Hebron was on Tuesday, Facts was on Thursday, um, and we did this really cool interaction thing um, between the audience and the and the performers. Um, this is gonna be like a very much like a video diary, actually diary instead of me ranting video. Um, and during the, the first time, they just run it through, scene. Um, the second time though, uh, people are allowed to interject like in the middle of the speaking to kind of like speak their mind and then people can pause and um, and have a conversation with one of the characters or they can like tap you on the shoulder and replace you for a second. Super cool and immersive. I was like, whoa! Uh, and on Thursday, I was, oh man, I thought I was ready and I kind of was, but I also really kind of wasn't. It was pretty intense. Um, Shanti and I did our scene, um, and then afterwards they did the normal thing, and it was, I was like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the second time, um, people were interjecting. We were ready for that, that was fine. Um, but then the third time, uh, Samer put Isadora and Jenna um, in front of us to like ask questions, and it was very, it was like, it was like odd because it was just like we had to like inform them of things that were happening in the scene, which I guess makes sense considering the context of it. Like you actually really had to understand some of the things that were happening and like just stuff about the Old Testament and like just random things that if as an audience member you didn't know, it made it much harder to discern the scene. Um, and then <laughs> he went and put Ed in the scene. And let me tell you, that was crazy. Uh, basically, the moment Ed got in the scene, um, it was, and he loves playing devil's advocate. That man loves playing devil's advocate. Um, basically, from the moment he got in the scene, he and I were at each other's throats. Um, it was like, fine at first, but then, um, Samra took everyone else out of the scene, except for Shanti and me, because we're in the scene, and then Ed, and he said that Ed um, is part of the Israeli army, and in the scene, I'm a Palestinian officer, um, and Shanti is an IDF, um, is a member of the IDF, and then in the imaginary extra part of the scene, um, Ed was now a, a part of the IDF. Um, and man, oh man, we, he and I had an in-character, very intense um, dialogue is a way to put it, um, where we were just basically yelling at each other about, um, nationalism and rights to land, which was quite exciting. Uh, and then, um, oh god, what happened after that? <laughs> um, and then, uh, Samra walks into the scene and acts like as, another, as a fourth person in the scene, um, and is basically, a, I think, also a member of the Israeli army in this instance, um, walks into the scene and is basically like, we'll replace you um, as an officer if you won't cooperate with us, because I was like arguing with what was an, like an IDF um, agent, and it like deflated me like crazy. And then we just continued the scene, like at that point we continued the scene, and I was just like, whoa. And everyone in the audience at that point, like the other like eight people in our class, were like, oh god, <laughs> he's so sad. And yeah, it was pretty sad, it was, pre it was pretty rough. Uh, but in the end, it was qu quite an interesting experience and quite fun. And that is the update for today. I feel really excited and hyper today. I don't know why, um, but yeah. So that's my day, or that was my week. Um, have an, I'll see you later, Samer, adios.